I'm Ethan Reese. I remember it so you don't have to. Da! And soon, I will be famous. Everyone will know who I am. When I walk around in public, people will say, Ooh, it's that really handsome boy, Ethan. Oh, Ethan, I love you, baby. Oh. Donald Trump is bad. All right, future, I'm ready for you. I am free. I am finally free from school. I am free. Now that I'm free, I can't do anything. Now that I'm free, I am invincible. Now that I'm free, nobody can stop me from doing the things that I like to do. Donald Trump is bad. <laughs> Kermit, are you trying to steal my show? Uh, no. Good. Then get out of here! Ah! Oh boy! I am finally home from school! I can't wait to be relieved from that annoying day I had! Hey! The teacher called me to make sure you do your homework! But I don't want to do homework! Do your homework or I'm taking away your Xbox! Okay, I'll do it! Just don't take away my Xbox! Because I have no variety of what I do in life, and I like to play the same game over and over. Please. Good! Now I'm gonna go and watch TV, because I have no homework! <laughs> Donald Trump is bad. Seriously, Viacom. Yes, Viacom, I'm talking to you because I know you're behind this. Well, technically they are. Why do you insist on pissing us off like this? Were you annoyed when we were constantly requesting you to air these shows? Is this our punishment for what we get for annoying the shit out of you guys? Why do you insist on doing this? Look, just fix these problems and we'll have the respect for you like we did in the past. And by the past, I mean before 2007. Alright? Hi everyone! Ethan here. Now, I want to talk to you guys for a bit about attention seeking. Now, I've been on the internet for a very long time now, and I can always tell when someone is just demanding that they get attention. None of you seem to care that much about what I had to offer. Like, seriously, what's a guy like me gotta do to get some attention around here? You see, attention is something that you must earn. Not demand. Did you not see me go down all those stairs in a single jump? Let's do some more weird, wacky, crazy stuff. And it bothers me so much that these, that some people will, will go the great lengths into just getting people to pay attention. He gets all the attention and talented folks like us are just left in the corner. Ignored by most of the YouTube community. Like, you you have to give us something that would make us want to pay attention to you. Like, if your work is good, we will give you that attention. But if it's not... What rolls downstairs, a motor and pairs, rolls over your neighbor's dog. Approve upon yourselves to become better in what you're trying to do so that people will pay attention to you. When I wake up in the morning with a twinkle in my eye, I feel a tickle in my tummy, kinda like a butterfly. And anyone who does such things probably doesn't make very good work. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days of epic boredom. I need something to relieve this boredom. Cause I know how much you care about what I do. never told anyone to do such things. Go play with your 
kids or something, molest them, whatever. Ah! Oh, what am I waiting for? Let me watch it now. Up next on ABC Kids, it's That's So Raven. No! I'm just so damn happy that I don't have to go back to school for the rest of the summer. Donald Trump is bad. The only way to get love, well, this is my opinion, you just gotta get lucky. That's all. You know, just hope that you'll find the right person. Guess who doesn't have any of that? Me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm in desperate need for love. Some of us are really desperate for love. Popular girls aren't going to date. Quirky, untalkative guys like us. You've been possessed by the devil, and once possessed, he takes control of your vagina and sheds out his blood from it. <laughs> you don't need money. You don't need fame. You don't need no credit card to buy this thing. I can't go to Orlando looking like this. Donald Trump is bad. Now pretend that that this is nice, cute, sweet, innocent girl. And this over here is douchebag boy. Let's see how the scenario will work out. Hello, nice, cute, sweet, innocent girl. Hello, Ethan. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. You know, school's been kind of tough for me. Yeah, I know. And now this is the part where douchebag boy comes in. Hey, stop that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me help that for you. Ugh. Why do you keep doing that? Ethan, tell him to stop. Hey, stop it, boy. Why? Do you want to get it on with her? Now, what will happen after this? Well, find out after this commercial break. We'll be right back with more Town Talk with Ethan. Lydia, oh Lydia, say have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattooed lady. She has eyes that folks adore so, and a torso even more so. And now, back to more Town Talk with Ethan. <laughs> Sounds fine with me. And now you're just left all alone with nobody to be with. And then you gotta find another girl to talk to and it'll most likely end up as the same scenario. You start to grow feelings for her. Like, this is the love that you've always wanted. And eventually, you'll start to follow her around. All I did in school was work, 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 work. Now I don't have to do any of that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my dear sweet baby girl. How I wanted to go to the prom with you. But no, you rejected me for him! It's not fair, I tell you! It's not fair, it's not fair, it's not fair! You were supposed to be mine! Did I do something wrong? I'm happy that I don't have a date. You know, because if you don't have a date, then you don't have to deal with the hassles of arguing or, you know, not agreeing on where they should go over the weekend, what they should wear. I guess I have it pretty easy for me. Yes, everybody, I am completely fine. So what if I have nobody to accompany me on this beach trip? I'm happy just soaking in the sun all on my own. I don't need anybody to accompany me. Yup, I am totally fine. This is something I can totally deal with. Ah! 
I would never be too old for this. I love this more than anything. I mean, why else would I have gone excited when I met Muppeteer Frank Oz? Hello everyone. Today, I'm about to conduct a challenge unlike any other. It is new and original. This challenge, if you have not read the title, is known as the Dirty Laundry Challenge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm about to take a shower. Donald Trump is bad. Oh my god, the best time of the year has come! It's finally snowing! Oh my god, I'm gonna do so much today. I'm gonna make a snow angel, and then a snowman, and then I'm gonna slay. Oh man, this is gonna be such a fun day. I'll do it later. But right now, snow! Cory in the house is an anime! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, your knee is kind of roundish like an orange or an egg. You'll find it sticking out there in the center of your leg. It bends right in the middle when you want to rub a jump. It's a funny kind of lumpy kind of knobby kind of bump. Did I do something wrong? Always good to have a drink while you're speaking. Thank you. 